everybody, it's me, Kelly. Hi. Um, I am going to do something very, very exciting, so I wanted to talk about it. Um, I decided to do a fundraiser. Um, I saw somebody else who was doing it, and I thought it was really cool, and I got on the website for St. Baldrick's. Um, St. Baldrick's is a organization that does um, some research for childhood cancer. Well, all cancers, not just childhood cancer. I'm trying to pull up the website. Um, but anyways, I decided that I wanted to do a fundraiser for it. And so I have a virtual shave donation page. What that is, is a virtual online page that you can go to. I'm sharing the links. And you can donate. Um, 80% of every dollar that is donated goes to research for cancer. Um, they kind of specialize in the childhood cancer, but it's helping with all cancers. But anyways, I'm going to do this for a very good reason. Um, I have a nephew with Beckwith-Widman syndrome. It is a rare disorder. Um, also known as hemi-hyperatrophy. Hemi For those of you in the medical field who are like, okay, I know hemi means this and I know that means that. Hemi means half. Hyper means more. Atrophy is like the constriction or Basically, half of his body grows more rapidly than the other. Um, it makes him more prone to childhood cancers. So, his likelihood of developing um, childhood cancers, he's at, in a higher um, risk bracket. Um, usually, if they make it over the... Um, children make it over the two-year-old mark. Their risk goes down some, but you're still you're still in a risk bracket. That you you are still at a higher risk than other children. Um, it's also genetic, so there's genes involved, and not the kind that you put on like the denim jeans. It's you know hereditary genes. Not that that's exciting, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, but anyways, it makes me passionate about this because, you know, this, my nephew, and we've been blessed that he ha has been pretty much had a fairly clean bill of health. Um, he is having some issues with, um, his right side is the side that grows more rapidly. His right leg is a little bit, um, I think, I can't remember if it's an inch or half an inch longer. And it's causing um, some problems with his walking. He walks very good. It hasn't, you know, hampered his mobility. That little boy can get around like no other. He just on the go, on the go. But... Um, you can tell when he is, you can see a little bit of the, the difference in his gait. Um, and the concern is that when he gets to a certain age, he will have to have surgeries to, um, correct things. Like, you know, there may be compression of, um, nerves and there may be, you know, hip issues because of the hip sitting higher and so forth. But anyways, with him being at higher risk of cancers, it makes it something that I'm very passionate about. I have many friends um, that are affected by this, uh, you know, different people throughout my family who have been, you know, had cancer affect them in some way or another. I'm going to go on. Sorry. It's getting late. It's 10.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. But anyways, I'm very passionate about this, and I want to get the word out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the links 
this as often as I can. Um, I have goals. My first goal is to reach $300 in donations. Um, you can go to my link that I'm going to share and you can make a donation. If you can no donate a dollar, 80 cents of every dollar is going to go towards the research. So, a dollar. If all you can afford is a dollar, that's awesome sauce. I think that's great. So, if you can donate a dollar and a hundred of you do a dollar, you know, that gets me $100. Once I hit $300, I am going to shave a quarter of my head. Once I hit $500, I'm going to shave half of my head. If you get me to my goal of 1000 I'm going to shave my entire head. All this short, fine, thin hair is going to be gone. And I don't care. It's hair, it'll grow back. So, that said, go make a dollar donation. Or if you can afford more than a dollar, hey, that's that's great. Um, I may post a lot about it, but it's because I'm passionate about it. Um, it tugs at my heartstrings. Um, share my link is with as many people as you can. Get the word out. Hey, if you have to call the news, you know, Channel 6 News and say, hey, post it on the Today Show link, show site, whatever, I don't care. You know, tell who, as many people as you can, you know, this girl is going to shave her head. You know, share it. Um, I want to get as many people involved with it. Um, I'm thinking about organizing a um, real event. Um, my concern is, you know, getting a venue that I can accommodate and getting others um, involved that want to do it as well. I think a lot of guys would be willing to shave their head. Girls, I'm not so sure. Um, with the women and girls donating, um, they can donate their hair um, if we would get, if I do the live events, um, they could donate hair to, um, locks for love and programs like that as well to donate for wigs and whatnot. But if you can get on my site, share my site, if you're interested in getting involved yourself, um, hit me up. Hit me on Facebook, Kelly Joe Rolls, you know. Send me a PM, you know, hey, how do I get involved, what do I need to do, um, or if you just want to say, hey, uh, I want to donate a dollar, or if there is, um, you know, some people aren't real internet savvy, but you want to donate, um, I can take monetary donations, like if you wanted to send a check to me, um, I would make that donation myself with my debit card or whatever and then just um, do it that way and it would be in your, you know in your name you get the credit for making that donation um, or I can do cash donations as well um, for anyone who is local who you know hey you got five dollars on you and hey here's five dollars can you put it towards this um, but I'm gonna share my site and Oh my god, it's going to be late. Um, I'll share my site. You can get on there and donate. Um, share it with others so that they can share with others and others can share with others and get the word out there. I hit a thousand, I shave this beautiful head of hair off. And I get to be the beautiful bald girl in town that did it. Not because she was sick, but because she loves her nephew, and she supports her friends and family that have been affected by um, this nasty disease, cancer. Um, so, thank you all for listening to me rambling, and please, like I said, share my site um, <clears throat> with everybody and anybody who will listen. Bye. Good night.